It's devastating. But as I look and I see that Jake's Project shirt, then I look out here, Dave, and I see all these people that are out here tonight remembering the guy who should be here. Uh, it's an incredible testimony. Hey, it's Costa with the Big Biz Show, and we are a uh, very special function tonight out here at uh, Cali Comfort Barbecue. All for our good buddy, fellow Big Biz Show member Dave Palais. Hey everyone, Dave Palais. Want to tell you about Jake's project, basically to raise money to create great childhood memories for children, and also deal with the ability to pay for sporting goods and fees that go with playing sports create those great childhood memories. Also to talk about the dangers of fentanyl. My son Jake passed away a few years ago from an accidental overdose from fentanyl. My name is Josh Palais. I'm the older brother of Jake Palais. We're here for Jake's projects. It's the charity for my brother because my brother passed away in 2018. So that money's gonna go back to kids that are in need for sporting equipment or they suffer from uh, mental health issues like anxiety or depression. As I look out and I see those guys, not only would Jake be the guy to be the first one to give everybody here a hug, but at the same time, he'd be bragging about the guys are doing great. And uh, I'm sorry he's not here, but to us. If I could talk to my brother before he passed away, I would say, or any kid that was going through a similar situation that had uh, drug issues or men mental health issues, whether it's you know depression or whatever it may be, I would say seek help. And, and it, it may not be a psychologist or a psychiatrist. It might be somebody within the Palais family or the very close-knit family of Jake's projects that reaches out and has that initial conversation and then says, hey, listen. So help doesn't need to be professional. It could be just a friend or a family member. Just tell them how you're doing. People will listen to you. Find the, find the right type of help. Don't go to somebody that's going through similar issues. They're not going to help you in the way you need. Go to somebody you think has your life together, maybe more, and they can help you too. You're not alone. We got you. We'll get you in touch with the people uh, that can help you. It's okay, number one. Number two, we're going to get you the help. And three, the most important step, they get the people the help. Please consider donating to this great nonprofit. Again, it's jakesprojects.org. You can go right to the website, make a donation, or please fill out a request if you know a child in need. Days of sports Days He's got his own song. Yeah, I know. And he just did that commercial live. Yeah, it's amazing. amazing. <laughs> live from the Loft 100 Studios in sunny San Diego, California. 110 million TV homes strong, 150 radio stations in 175 countries. Thanks to American Forces Radio Network, Biz TV, iHeart Radio, and the like. Big Biz shows on the air. Sully Costa, the big favorite Quacho, and of course, Dave Palais. Boy, that is a great public service, PSA, and it, uh, I can take it so much more seriously now that there's not a barbecue sign next to Costa. <laughs> can we just roll the beginning of that again? Because, you know, imagine that, Mike Costa next to a barbecue joint. Uh, so weird. <laughs> so strange. Hi, my name is Costa, <laughs> and uh, here he is. Like the, like very first, and by the way, did we finally got Jeff on television. You did. Right? I, I mean, it's, we've been asking for a couple of years. Year a thousand and a half, years. And uh, we finally get him on TV. Um, not to make light, but there it is. See, do see, you notice how uh, deftly Devin Doan moved him away from the barbecue sign? Thanks, Because it, cause it killed, yeah. you know, killed the whole thing. <laughs> but uh, congratulations. Let's keep on airing that uh, PSA right here on national TV for you. I appreciate okay, it. I'll I, do that think, for... I can't thank you and everybody else here as far as... Well, no. I mean... <laughs> By the way, I got you guys both a Christmas present this you year. did? Of course I did. Dave Palais and uh, my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> with you guys. A oh, couple perfect. Of Let's go, perfect. Perfect. There. <laughs> Let's go brother. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if, you're, if you're new to the program, uh, it's because of the Twitter battle that is going on from um, the Twitter battle happening online. Uh, as, now, do you, what was your original Twitter name? <laughs> He's been kicked off so many times. I know. So like the sixth time? Yeah, I think I was Costa1360. Uh, uh, Okay, yeah, because you're on AM 1360. Right, 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 right. Yeah. 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 Had a signal, by the way, that went from here to the streetlight. It did. It did. <laughs> when you I was, listen, I was, my first signal was AM 11, AM, AM 1000. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Round the corner from Witch Creek Rhin Winery. <laughs> we, we routinely were beat by the airport traffic yeah. uh, radio station. Yeah. Yeah. You had to wrap your car in tinfoil and park <laughs> in the parking lot of the station to hear it. It's like this. Mike was like this. He had his toe in the in the light sock. He's like, yeah. I can hear it. Yeah. I can hear it. That was right outside uh, the studio. Yeah. Uh, how, how many profiles do you have now? Uh, have you had? Oh, I'm on my... 
uh, sixth. Okay. How are you doing on that one? How old is this good, one? Good. Good. Um, I'm almost <laughs> six or seven months old, I think. Okay, good. What's yeah. the name of this one? Um, I'm at the L O U I S Costa. At Louis Costa. At Louis Costa, yeah. <laughs> wow. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> or as some of us read, Louise. Costa. Louis, yeah, yeah. Anytime we go to the doctor. All right. Louise Dave, have you Costa. ever been kicked off? <laughs> never. I've never been kicked How off. How have you <laughs> never been kicked I, off? I, what? Because <laughs> I, I don't go after half the politicians in the United States. <laughs> Is that what you do? Yeah. Wow. Yeah? Oh, That'll are you? do it. Oh, okay. I, both sides. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's Paul, Paul Pelosi's yes. in my uh, bullseye right now. Yeah, it's working out really well. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, there are more people in this room that are able to follow him now. Because, you you, because realize, so many you realize, yeah, because of his TV platform yeah. now? Yeah. Exactly. Um, it's a surprising because if you think they would have ferreted you out. You Well, Elon's going gonna, gonna to protect you in this deal. Thank You're going to be fine. God you go back you to the Mike it. Costa. Now. That's right. That's right. I've asked. Oh, but Do you know that see. most people are for smarter government, not right or left, Mike? I'm finding that out yeah. based on what's going on in the house right now. Yeah. <laughs> with you. I mean, aren't we all sort of. Oh, my God. Socially liberal and fiscally conservative. A almost all of us down the world. Yep. Except for, you know, you're just right of Donald Trump. Other than <laughs> that, <so. laughs> but this is good. This is wow. good. You're in the same sandbox as the rest of us here who are trying Pretty to much. bring you over. Yep. You know, sort of to the middle here, right? It's like, what did the cat bury over there? It's a long good climb Lord. to the middle, Mike, it as is. I know <laughs> your career might portray. Um, Dave, uh, the big story this week, of course, is uh, is Damar Hamlin. Yeah. Um, we talked about this uh, a number of times, but, uh, but I'll tell you, um, you know, we all we've ever talked about in the NFL is concussion. Yeah. That's all we ever talk about. We don't talk about broken arms, broken legs, ACL, which we could rightly talk about. But but now we're talking about, and I brought this up yesterday on a TV program that I host, that when we all played Pop Warner football and we all played high school football, I was the biggest kid on the football team. I was this big. I was 6'1". I was probably 30 pounds lighter, but still I was the tallest kid in the team. Yeah. By, I, there was a couple guys like me, but we were the biggest kids. Yes. This is us. Um. I would be the shortest kicker yes. in the NFL right now yeah. by a lot. And and when you start seeing guys that are six foot six and they're quarterbacks, yeah. what has happened in the last 30 years? Because something has gone on, whether it's good or bad, whether it's cleaner food, nutrition, more technology. I'm not against that, but we have now entered into a place now where this is – uh, not just dangerous for head because the technology yeah. was bad. It's now you're just hitting each other so hard because you have so much mass behind you that you are stopping people's hearts. Talk about this a little bit. You know what? I'll tell you where I noticed a big change was you guys remember the Super Bowl when the Chargers took on the 49ers. And when those two teams matched up and the Chargers got killed in that game, the Chargers were, size-wise, were much bigger than the Niners. The Niners decided we're going to go thinner and speed. We're going to try and beat everybody with speed. And people started following with basically lean muscle and speed. Now, track stars that were... So they're going faster gone. with more muscle mass, which yeah. is a bullet. And, and, and here's the deal. Mike's actually a perfect guy to talk to about this because he's been a sideline reporter in the NFL for years. And if you've ever been on an NFL sideline, I have, but not to the extent where, where Mike is... The, it looks like guys are trying to tackle buses on the five freeway. It is so fast that you have no idea in the stands or on TV what's happening. But when we used to watch Junior Seau, and oh. Junior was a combination of you know a bodybuilder and a track star, yep. and you're thinking, oh my God, someone could lose their life in this game, and it, the collisions, and you're getting up in the. In so what you're talking about is when you're there looking at it, it is so fast. We don't, we can't even fathom how fast no. and how you blink. It is. You blink, and somebody has moved 10, 15 yards in. It, and then the collisions, you know, they always play it. They try to play back on TV sometimes like, whoa, this is what it sounded like. When you're 20 feet away from it, yeah. it, sound, it sounds like metal. Shotgun, shotgun went off or metal Yeah, tearing. and metal tearing. It is. And at hurry-up offense, you're doing that every eight seconds. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know? So how are you going to recover? So here's, here's the money point of this because all the talk was, do you continue the game? They're still talking about it now days later. Do you right. continue the game? What happens in the game? So ESPN pays $2.7 billion a year for the rights to carry one of those games. That's an average of $170 million a game. That's yeah. how much was lost. And nobody wants to talk about money when you're talking about saving a human life. But th that's where a lot of the discussion came up, of course. What do you do now with this game, and do you continue playing? And that was... So what are they, plus there's a playoff play. picture here. Yeah, huge. Both number teams. one seed. So what do you do? That number one what seed. What are they going to do? What do you What do you think's going to happen? They won't. What would you do? You, you can't play it, Dave. You can't play the game. You've run out of time. 
There's, you run out of time unless you're going to take a week away for preparing for the Super Bowl, and that's not fair to the two teams in the Super Bowl, meaning oh, that okay. the playoffs yeah. end, then you have a bye week, basically. So, so, and then so, got, so we have an week. asterisk for 2022-2023 Super Bowl. Okay. What, what do you think is going to happen? Well, first of all, what would each of you do? I would declare it a tie. Yes. And then say, okay, it's, that's the record. And I think that you do the least damage to both teams' records, and you keep the two weeks intact. Exactly right. Super Bowl. And the deal is, though, it would give the Chiefs the automatic number one seed, which means they get a buy in the playoffs, where the Buffalo so they Bills get home were trying to get home field advantage throughout the rest of the AFC playoffs. Well, let's talk about that when we come back, because I think that's the next thing. Because if you think in terms of what's He's going on. He's a sports writer. He's a sports writer. <laughs> he is. One of the best. <laughs> said nobody. <laughs> I want to know what the league's going to do. I want to know what, we'll get your crystal ball going. Oof. It's a love fest here. Mike Costa, <laughs> Dave Pelle. We got him Bobby Knight chairs for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Barbie Biz coming up.